Are you spending countless hours on your marketing efforts and just not getting the leads and the sales that you want? Hey there, my name is Brad Smith, owner of Automation Links. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to automate your marketing. Now, I understand a lot of business owners, you're busy, you're busy working with your clients, you're trying to work with all your normal processes and all the systems you have in place, either at your office or in your business. So it's really hard to take that extra time and automate your marketing to help you get better results. And that's what I want to share with you today. And if you stick with me till the end, I'll share the full guide that you can actually copy and paste and use in your business. And that's exactly what we do is we help businesses automate their marketing. We recently started working with a clothing e-commerce store that was really struggling. They were not posting on social media. They weren't sending email newsletters. And in fact, they didn't even have their conversion rates optimized on their Shopify site. So what this means is, yeah, they might be getting their ideal customers and people coming to the store, but why were they not buying? So what we do is we take every step of the sales funnel and we automate it for the business. So instead of this business just averaging around 40,000 a month, which may sound great, but think about the profit margins and the costs that go into that we've been able to grow their sales by 30%, increase their automation follow-ups and get their email open rates from around a 10% open rate to a 38% open rate, all by implementing our strategic strategies. And if this sounds overcomplicated to you, sounds like a lot of work, that's where we come in. We come in and we automate all this, all the way from your website automation to email automations, to social media posting, to blogging, to advertising, to even making videos like this. Because what you need is you need a partner, somebody that's actually going to come in, not only automate it, but give you the exact strategy to follow every step of the way. And that's what we're going to cover today in this video on how to automate your marketing. So why should you automate your marketing? By automating your marketing, it's not only going to save you time, but it's in going to increase your lead flow. It's going to build better relationships with those leads which always is gonna to lead to more sales and more customers. It's also gonna help you build your business on a strong foundation. Let's say you wanna sell your business someday, or let's say that you wanna scale it and double and triple it over the next year or two. If your automation isn't in place and you're still struggling to find time to work on your business instead of working in your business, this is where you're gonna run into trouble. So what should you do? You really need to think about every aspect of your business and your marketing and think about ways that you can either hire people to help you, you can learn to do it on your own, or you can even get virtual assistants to do it for you. And that's really the key. What's best for you and what's best for your business and where you're at right now? Because I'll tell you this, when I started investing in my business, whether it was time or money, and I straightened out my systems and I built my business on a strong foundation, that's when we were able to take on five new customers a month, 10 new customers, 15 new customers, and then allowing us to actually have enough leads to get that many customers. So what are you going to do for your business? And what do you want to automate first? So how do you actually go about automating your business and what needs to be automated? I always like to start at the beginning of the sales funnel, your website or your landing pages. This is the first interaction a new visitor has with you. This is the first time to hear about you. They learn about you and they see how you can actually help them. A couple of things when you're thinking about automating your website is number one, you definitely should have some sort of landing page or lead magnet. This is a good way to get people on your email list. Less than 1% of people that come to your website will actually sign up and become a customer. What about the other 99.9%? .9 you're losing them. You're missing out on them. So what we want to do is find ways to follow up with them. And we're going to do this a couple different ways. Landing pages and lead magnets are a good way for you to give them your best offer in exchange for their email address. As an example, the case study I shared with you at the beginning of this video, they started offering a 10% coupon code for any new visitors. What this did was allow them to get their email address in exchange for the coupon code. If you're a local business, you can offer a free session or a first consultation or a first try at your local business. And if you're an online business, you can offer a webinar, a guide, or a checklist 
to give them an advantage and so they can learn something from you before they become a customer. And this is really key. How can you build more value and education with these visitors? The next thing you can do is make sure you have your retargeting pixels in your site and your landing page because not everyone's going to give you their email either. So just like you look for a new pair of shoes and then all of a sudden you see those shoes in your timeline everywhere, you can actually do that for a really low cost. It's better to set up those retargeting pixels now, start collecting, collecting the data so you can use that when you are finally ready to run ads. When you go to run ads, you'll either have a list of 100 people that have been to your website or if you set it up now, you might start with 20,000 people. So it's always best to get those pixels installed now. So what happens after somebody hears about you the first time? We call this top of funnel. Somebody that doesn't know you, they don't trust you, they've never heard of you. They're looking at your competitors, they're price shopping, they're looking at other options, and they're just busy too. How can we turn them into a middle of funnel person? A middle of funnel is somebody that's heard of you one to three times, maybe one to five times. This is where you build a relationship. And we always suggest sending six automated emails and you can actually get our perfect email template that gets an 80% open rate down in the first comment below this video. If you use this email, you'll get sales. It's the perfect template. Everyone opens it and everyone clicks on it. You need to send your emails like this. So what we wanna think about is these first six emails we send to a top of funnel person that's never heard of you, need to be relationship building. So by the time they're done with the six emails, they've formed some sort of relationship. They either love you or they hate you. That's the goal. We wanna tell them stories. We wanna share case studies. We wanna give them education. We don't wanna sell them. We just wanna provide value. After they go through the six emails, some have bought, some have scheduled, or some haven't. And you'll have a few that unsubscribe. That's totally fine. We don't wanna pay for them in our email software anyways. So then what we need to do is add them to a general newsletter list. Because when you take someone from a top of funnel to the middle of funnel, they get to know you. Maybe they're not just ready to buy it. You've gone to a website before, you were interested in it, but you just weren't ready to buy. But if they keep reminding you over a series of months and even years, you'll remember them when you are finally ready to buy. You need to show empathy for your customers the same way. Expect everyone's not ready to buy today. So you need to remind them of how valuable your service and offering is. So when they are ready to buy, they come back to you. That's why we want to follow up with monthly newsletters. And that's what we do for our clients. We automate monthly newsletters. So a new lead never forgets about you. That is really key there. And then what we need to do is maybe show them some low cost retargeting ads. Have them follow you on social media. In my second email I send to people, I ask them to follow me on, on LinkedIn. That way they see my LinkedIn posts, they see that I'm providing value, and they remember me not through email, but also through social media as the authority and as the expert. So where are you the most active at on social media? Do you make YouTube videos? Are you on LinkedIn? Are you on Facebook? Are you on Twitter? Wherever you're the most active and wherever it shows you as the authority and the expert, that's where you need to ask them to follow you so they consistently see you all the time. When they're ready to buy, they'll come back and buy. Now, how do you automate your marketing? So now your system's in place. Hopefully you have a landing page. You've got your pixels set up. You have automated emails. You're sending them newsletters so they don't forget. And they followed you on social media. Now you should start thinking about automating your marketing. Your system's in place. You're ready to turn someone from a top of funnel lead, someone that's never heard of you, to a middle of funnel lead, somebody that you're building a relationship with, to a bottom of funnel lead, to someone that trusts you and they're ready to buy. Now, how do we start generating these people? And that's where you need to start automating your efforts. Now, a lot of people think social media is for posting promotions and coupons, when in fact, social media should be about attracting and educating your ideal audience. Think about that for a second. Attracting and building relationships by providing value to your ideal audience. That's where you need to educate. I created something called the professor method that helps me think of myself as the professor, the coach, the teacher. I'm making this video to teach you how to automate your marketing. Now you can choose a couple different channels. We call them pillar content. 
And it makes it a lot easier when you think of it this way. And this is what we would do for you if we work together. We would choose one topic per week, and then we would choose one channel, whether that's a blog, a podcast, or a YouTube video. We're going to create the content around that where you're strictly teaching and providing education. That's it. And then what we do is the use of virtual assistants and social media apps like Publer that we recommend. We create social media posts from them, blog posts from them for Google, and then even podcasts and YouTube to get even more links back to your business. And then we schedule them all up and we post them. And then your audience will start seeing you as the expert and the authority in your industry. And since your system's in place and your marketing is automated, they'll never forget about you. So what are you waiting for? Are you ready to automate your business? Are you feeling too busy? Maybe you don't have enough time. You have two options here. You can go do it on your own and maybe it will get done. Maybe it won't. Or you can hire someone like us where we're automation experts and we automate every step of the flow. And that's the key. You either are going to invest your time or invest your money. But either way, if you want to grow, you need to make your move and take some sort of action. So I want you to find the in the link below the link for the full guide and checklist for this video. And here you're going to see the case study of these really cool results from the clothing e-commerce business we've helped automate their marketing. You're going to see some other reviews that we've done to help people. But most importantly, you're going to get the resources that we recommend, how to find the virtual assistants, what social media um, app to use for automatic posting, and really all the different things we do to automate our marketing, to even choosing the right email marketing software to make sure you get these open rates and these clicks that drive sales. So what are you waiting for? It's time for you to go automate your marketing. I hope this video brought you a ton of value. If you're new to my channel, thanks for making it to the end. I'd love it if you subscribe, turn on the notifications, and comment new down below so I can send you some more resources. Thanks again, and I will see you on the next video.